Oh, I'm going to riff and see if I can get this right. I think I know how bone marrow is produced and tooth enamel. And this is so, if you know how to do this, you can visualize it happening in your body and it really happens. So, your enamel, basically the bone is a calcium deposit. It's a calcium phosphate. It's called an apatite, uh, A-P-A-T-I-T-E. It's a kind of mineral, it's like a calcium phosphate. And there's this one in particular called hydroxyapatite or hydroxylapatite, which is a, uh, got hydrogen and oxygen in it. And you can get like fluorapatite, fluoride, fluorapatite, um, chlorapatite. Anyway, hydroxyapatite. It's a, uh, got some oxygen and hydrogen in it too, to be exact of each. Uh, but it's like 10 calcium, C, you know, calcium 10, uh, phosphorus, it's a phosphate, so there's like six PO4s, I think. Um, that's what your bone, pretty much, that's the, the, that's what bone is. But the way that's produced, well, the way, that's not, I'm sorry, that's almost exactly what bone is, but the thing that makes our bone alive is carbonic acid. And that is H2CO3, which is like H2O and CO2 together. So I think what happens is you breathe in carbon dioxide and you bring in water and your body fuses a little, well, it doesn't really fuse, it bonds a little bit of it. A lot of it stays as carbon dioxide and stays as water. But the little bit that your body does bond becomes high, uh, carbonic acid. C, what was it? H2CO3, carbonic acid. And then what I think what happens is after it makes this carbonic acid from the carbon dioxide that you breathe in or that you have after the um, aspiration process and the, the water, it puts the carbonic acid into your bones from the outside, like goes in from the outside into your bone, gets super pressurized in the bone. And then when it gets into the middle of the bone where it's hollow, it carbonates, which is what happens with carbonic acid when there's a drop in pressure. So in this like Coke cans and shit, it's pressurized. Carbonic acid is pressurized, and when well, the pressure changes, it carbonizes, it carbonates, which essentially means the the carbonic acid splits into water and carbon dioxide because of the pressure change. And I think that's what's happening inside the bone. And when that happens, and it carbonates the the uh, hydroxyapatite, it causes bone growth. It causes what we know as those strands inside the bone. It like hardens and calcifies. Um, there's moisture, you know. Cool. So phosphorus, magnesium. Magnesium is an inhibitor so that you don't grow too much too fast. Obviously calcium is a base. Phosphate also is a base. You can get a lot of that in bananas.